in a world without a beginning, where there is no end, the discovery of one of the world's greatest treasures is birth. Echoing sounds from the heart of our people. I had always been aware of my ethnic identity. I had been instilled with a sense of pride in my roots, our language, our culture, our food, our vocations. We came to the world's reckoning with the discovery of one of the world's most precious ancient art treasures, the Nok Terracottas, a precious ancient legacy of the Han people, my people. We found uh, Nok sites almost everywhere in the Kwoi Nok uh, Kagarko area. And so although this big head from Jamar appeared, it was life-size almost. That's when it was called the Nok culture. As the years passed, the quest to explore the story of my people, beyond the art pieces the world had known for close to a century, and to tell the story of a great people behind the art, their origins. We believe that our people came from the Sudan. They moved down southwards. The Nok Terracottas, having been discovered in 1928, they were tested by a scientific method called the carbon-14 dating method. And recent research has shown that the, the works were even made 1,000 years before Christ. The technology. They are one of the earliest users of iron in sub-Saharan Africa. The music and more. This journey took us to three continents, starting among some of our most authoritative voices to some of the world's foremost scholars in the quest of personal discovery and as a sacred trust for my people. We trace the journey of the sacred artifacts of the Ham and their place in modern era and seek answers to many questions that have lingered for a millennia. I think what we have discovered about the Nok culture might be worse to be a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Walking back through time, the sun set in the horizon, an ageless culture steeped in the shadows and brought back to life. This is our story. We are Ham. I'm a child of Ham. We are children of Ham.